Well, welcome Leos and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message week commencing Monday the 17th of May through to Sunday the 23rd of May 2021. I've already pulled your crowning message cards and your crowning wisdom message cards. Let's have a look and see what they are telling us. Okay, so for your first crowning message, uh, Leos, we have Swan Spirit. Time for a deep dive. Then we have Owl Spirit. You see clearly and armadillo spirit set healthy boundaries okay can we see all of those yeah all right uh leos the leos that i am reading for i feel as if you might be in a bit of a sticky situation this week and i am picking up more to do with um work or a project, or if you own your own business, I feel as if you're in a bit of a sticky, sticky situation. Um, with the swan spirit, I feel as though you are, whatever is coming at you, I feel as if you're going to deal with it with a lot of grace, okay? But underneath, um, underneath that those flowers or those lily pads um i feel as if you're going to be frantically thinking what the heck do i need to do um to sort out this situation um but i feel as if what you're being guided with take time take take the time for a deep dive is that you're being guided to go deep within yourself it almost feels as if it feels as if you know the answer but actually the answer starts with you it may be something that you do or say or your actions could really flip the script on whatever is going on with you and i feel by understanding the why you are feeling quite panicked okay over something even though you're holding your face, you're, you're, you're walking with grace. If you understand why you are feeling this angst, why is it you're feeling like, what the heck is going on? If you can understand that, then you will be provided with the answers. Absolutely. With that owl clear coming in, um, that owl spirit coming in, you will see very, very clearly what it is you need to do. So what of a better way to express this there's something going on with you uh leos i am picking up that it's more to do with work a business venture um and i feel as though it's coming at you you kind of feel a bit panicked um and i feel that you're being guided to to look at your actions your behaviors what it is you are saying and why it is you feel the way that you feel over this situation. And once you can do that honestly with yourself, that is where you're going to be. Uh, that is where the clarity and the wisdom of what it is you need to do or say in order to move this situation along. Now, with this armadillo spirit, this is set healthy boundaries. Be aware, um, Leos, that whatever is coming at you this week that is going to like just get you in that um that that position where those uh swan legs underneath the water is going to be paddling for dear life i feel as if you need to one of the questions you perhaps need to ask yourself is first of all are you actually picking up someone else's energy okay is it really your energy and i feel as though i am i am reading for extremely spiritual well yeah from your crowning wisdom messages you are on a spiritual journey but we'll get on to that in a minute um you are extremely intuitive you may be like a, like an empath um somebody that basically can pick up people's feelings and their energies and actually by differentiating what is your energy and what is theirs that is where you need to set the boundary it almost feels as though, um, uh, Leo's, spiritually, you may need to cut a cord, okay, of the people that are involved in order for you to have the clarity that you need to say and act in the best interest of yourself and in the best interest of uh, the situation. 
with regards to a relationship, if there is um, somebody um, like a third party that's coming in the picture, uh, I feel as if the attention may be really, really good, nice for you. All right. Hence why you are this. Uh, really graceful beautiful creature but underneath you might be panicking a little bit because I think you see clearly that actually um this person is coming at you um a little bit too familiar uh and that's what's kind of panicking you at, panicking you at the moment I feel as if you're being guided basically to nip it in the bud set those boundaries let them know either you know, you're involved with somebody or, you know, if you've got your eye on somebody else, I feel as if you're being guided to, yeah, to set those boundaries. And if you're even entertaining somebody that is being a bit flirtatious with you at the moment, you're being guided to um, go deep, deep within and ask yourself why. Why is it you're allowing somebody to potentially come in and just ruffle feathers with you and the person of your, um, the object of your affection? Set those boundaries. And I feel as you do that, you will see clearly um, perhaps what it is you are lacking or what it is um, your relationship is lacking or the person that is the object of your affection what it is that you're lacking that has allowed a third party to kind of come in and almost kind of I almost kind of feel as if they're kind of dancing around you and I feel that you kind of like the attention but actually um it could it could it could spiral a little bit out of control and that is why i feel i feel that you're panicking at the at, at the at the um at the underneath those lilies here because i feel as if you see very very clearly that actually this is more than just a bit of a flirtatious situation um they may want a little bit more uh, for for those of you that are resonating with this message already, this could be something that's actually going on in the workplace. Thanks for that. That was my team just saying it could be actually going on in the work, which is why I'm picking up that two, two messages. For some of you, it might actually be one message. For your crowning wisdom messages, the first card we have is horse freedom. Yeah, you need to free yourself from whatever's got you panicking at the moment, all right? Um, and use your intuition, um, use your spiritual gifts to help you along this journey. Now, the horses, um, as an animal totem coming in, they are known uh, to be, uh, you know, man's best friend. They are extremely, um, uh, how can I put it, uh, uh, they are extremely... Um, Oh God, what's the word that I'm looking for? Not volatile. They're not volatile. They are, um, they charge forward. Okay, thanks. If, if this is um, a, a work situation, you are known with that horse spirit totem around you. You're known in the workplace to get stuff done. You're a hard worker. You know how to carry the weight and the burdens of, let's say, I don't know, a team, a project. You get things done. And I feel as if you are very, very free spirited. Um, and I feel as though you're being guided to be careful that you don't get boxed in. So if this is somebody at work that is making, let's say, want of a better word, unprofessional advances towards you, I feel that you're being guided. Don't allow it to box you in because I feel like it could spiral a little bit out of control and get a little bit narky. Um, and if you are a leader of a team or you are the boss, um, that could get really, really uncomfortable pretty damn quickly, all right? Um, and it says here, your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. You follow the winds of change 
and accomplish your dreams. So this is just reiterating what I was saying. You are a doer and you are an achiever. And it almost feels as if your reservoir of energy is just unlimited. It's because you just charge forward um, and just you just uh, you're just a very, very reliable person. And I feel as if it's because you're quite free. You're you, you know, you can adapt, you can change, you can flex up, you can flex down resource, you know, you know your stuff basically. Yeah. And I feel as though you know how to gather people together, how to pull a resource, how to identify strengths and maximize it for the benefit of a particular project, let's say. With regards to your second message, we have eagle mastery. Now, eagles are known as, um, well, actually a, an extremely spiritual creature um, and quite wise. Yeah, we can see that you've got the owl, um, which is part of the family of the eagle. Um, and I feel as if uh, you have that ability to soar above crap basically you have the ability to um look at things from a very broad perspective um from a different viewpoint to see the bigger picture spiritually i feel as though um leo's that you are quite i feel that you're quite powerful in the sense that you know how to move between possibly the spirit world and our world, but most importantly, um, the matter and spirit world, which taps into the 4D, um, the fourth dimensional, you know how to travel um, and you know how to almost, it's like you're a connector between the energy matter of here on earth, the 3D, and you can connect it with the um the 5d the spirit world so you've got the 3d which is our world you've got the 4d which is that connection that kind of gray area between spirit world and our world which is the 4d and then you have the 5d which is pure um in in the world of spirit divine um yeah, absolutely. And I feel as if you know how to soar between the 3D, the 4D and the 5D. In this card, it says you are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirit. Your wisdom inspires the world. I feel as though you, that whatever your spiritual journey is, whatever stage you are in your spiritual journey i feel as though you are picking up a lot of wisdom and a lot of knowledge in order to do something um quite in, quite inspiring to the world to mankind um and i feel as if your your spiritual like so what is going on in this 3d um with the situation that's coming coming towards you I feel as though, uh, ah, ah, it feels as though whatever is coming at you, let's say it is a third party in a work situation that's been a bit too familiar with you. I feel as though it might be a bit of an entrapment and it could hinder um, your spirit. It could hinder or just put a little bit of a buckle on your spiritual journey. I almost feel as though, Leos, you almost need to be as pure as possible in this situation. Hence, ah, that's why the swan spirit is coming. You need to hold your grace, okay, with whatever situation you are going with. Go that that is that that you that's going on with you. Um, what it is I feel that you need to let go is perhaps the attention that is um you know we all like attention we all like feeling you know attractive and um you know uh feeling like you know people find us enduring and attractive and you know good to be around um but whatever is going on with you i feel as though it's kind of bordering a line of uh, this person could expect something a little bit more and i feel as if you're being guided to 
particularly if this scenario has some is something that has um plagued you before or perhaps plagued you in past life experiences and you know what's just coming to my mind samson if you are of christian faith you'll know the story of samson um who was a, a powerful powerful uh fighter a gladiator um and the strength that he had um was uh from the gods okay and he got involved with um long story short he got involved with this beautiful beautiful woman delilah um who he um basically let down his guard and what happened was she what gave him his strength was his hair and as Delilah and him carried on with their little tete-a-tete it gave Delilah an opening to cut his hair which then meant that it cut his cord the connection with divine spirit and the strength that he had because he had a purpose he had a purpose on this earth to fight some real big battles but physically it came out in a physical way with you leo i feel as though what your gift to the world is is something spiritual and whatever is going on at work in a work situation don't allow yourself to be open to basically have your your hair cut your strength cut your light cut because the wisdom the spiritual journey the light or the, the, the purpose that you're here to do is so much bloody greater than what's going on in this 3D, okay? And that is something that may have plagued you in previous lives and it could have hindered you. And you may be faced with this situation in this lifetime in order for you to soar above and overcome in order to move to that next level of your spiritual growth, okay? For your third card, we have Frog Prosperity. Now, what is really, really beautiful, and I love that this card has come up with your crown and wisdom messages. This is all about luck. Right now, luck is on your side. Luck is on your side to deal with this shit, okay? But also, luck is on your side of presenting you with an opportunity to fix something that played you in past lives that hindered your spiritual growth in order for you to do the life purpose your soul purpose in this lifetime maybe in many lifetimes but you have the opportunity to yeah to 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 change to um have a transformation to get yourself back onto your spiritual path the path that you were meant to to, to follow, that you made that soul contract to, to share with the world, to share with mankind. This is very, very, very deep. Um, and I feel as though you're being guided that this is a lucky time for you, okay? Now, you... Um, now, what's very interesting with the story with the, the the frogs as a totem that because they are they're also known as very fertile creatures, um, the life cycle of a uh, of a frog they start they go through a three. Uh, uh, three life cycles they start off as eggs then they are tap tadpoles and then they um uh, progress to um to frogs you are at the stage of i feel that you're in the tadpole stage and you've had the opportunity to move to the frog stage to your full growth your full potential um now the beauty why they call the um uh, the frog, one of the most fertile uh, animal totems is because the amount of eggs that they produce. Yeah. So it tells me what I'm picking up is that you may have gone through a rebirth many, many, many times over many, many lifetimes to get you to where you are in this lifetime, which is why it's so I can't express it, but it's, it feels so important that whatever you are dealing with, and I feel that it's a work situation, and it almost feels as if you've got a third party that's coming in. This is a learning. You are going through a cycle where the action that you took many, many lifetimes, or perhaps even in this lifetime, the actions that you took wasn't the right action. You've got the opportunity to change and rewrite um, your 
your path, your destiny, all right? Uh, this card, it says, let go of the past and embrace change. Absolutely. It's time to let go the errors of the past in order for you to be that to be that frog now. You are done with being a tadpole. It's time for you to step into your power, step into what your purpose is and thrive, okay? And do whatever it is you are supposed to be doing in this lifetime. And it says opportunities are close at hand. Absolutely. You've got the opportunity to rewrite um, your your life history, your spiritual history, and um, hop onto um, hop into new. And it says here, hop into this new day with joy, abundance and good fortune await you. Now, remember also with the frog, they do have this beautiful um, insight to know uh, when to hop from one li lily pad to another lily pad. And the reason why they do that is they know how to uh, literally uh, disengage from drama, okay? And this is, look what they're saying, hop into this new day with joy. You need to hop out of whatever this situation is going on in order for you to have the abundance and good fortune that is awaiting for you. Oh, okay, Leo's, sorry, that took a little bit longer um, than normal, but I just, I... I was just picking up the importance of your wisdom, crowning wisdom messages of the spiritual journey that you are on. It, it, it almost outweighs what is going on in the 3D and just almost take whatever is going on in a work situation or with regards to a third party kind of infiltrating your romantic relationship or both work and this this person could be at work. It almost feels as though this is a learning. You are going through a learning and it's part of your spiritual growth. OK, all right. If this message resonates for you, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Let's get into your love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the soulmates of Leo, sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love week commencing Monday the 17th of May through to Sunday the 23rd of May 2021? What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Leo that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and whoops, for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me, thank you. All right. OK, let's see what's going on with you. Whoops. Thank you. OK, well, the Queen of Fire has come out, which is equivalent to the Queen of Wands in traditional tarot. We've got the Five of Air, which is equivalent to the Five of Swords in traditional uh, tarot. We've got the Nine of Fire, which is equivalent to the Nine of Wands in traditional tarot. We have the Three of Fire, which is equivalent to um, the Three of Wands in traditional tarot. The Eight of Air, which is equivalent to the Eight of Swords. And we have the Queen of Earth, which has come up as a bonus card for you. All right, uh, Leos, whoever you are dealing with, I feel as though, um, is it there? Ah, uh, okay, okay. So this is your energy, whether you are male or female, because it's you that needs to see clearly, or they see you very clearly as somebody that is, um, you know, passionate, creative, free-spirited. Yeah, this is your energy, Queen of Fire, um, that's that horse um, totem coming in as your alley. You are extremely free spirited. You are action orientated. You know how to get the job done. Um, and I feel as if this person almost it feels as if they admire you, um, uh, uh, Leo's. With that five of air that is coming out here, I feel as though um, they see you. 
they may see you as um, going through a bit of a battle with regards to perhaps a third party coming in to want of a better word, um, kind of infiltrate um infiltrate you so if you can imagine this person is the person that is the object of your affection or the person that you're involved with and i feel as though intuitively okay they see that you are in a situation at the moment where i feel as though they what they are I feel as if they are confident that the battles that you're going through, you will come out victorious. If they are picking up a third party situation, they're the ones that is kind of under that water with their, their feet flapping, panicking. And I feel as if um, they are being guided, that they need to be really careful with what they communicate to you. But also as well, I feel as if they may be watching your communication. It will be interesting if we get the page of swords coming out but that's what intuitively i'm picking up i feel as if this person may almost want to say to you if there's a third person in a work situation that is kind of infiltrating you i feel like your person wants to say you know what babes you need to kind of you need to shut this down yeah uh you need to shut this down and you need to set some boundaries and by you saying that and communicating that um, I feel as if they feel that you're going to come out victorious. With the nine of fire, I feel as though you are you are surrendering to what it is you need to do in order to not hiccup your spiritual growth. But also I feel as though your person is surrendering to allow you to deal with the situation um, that you are in over here with this person or a third party or a work situation and um, because I feel as if they're confident that whatever action you take whatever you communicate you're going to come out victorious so I feel as if like underneath they kind of want to say babes you need to sort this shit out okay close it down set those boundaries tell this person to you know hop it um, but I feel as if they're not going to do that, okay? Um, they're surrendering to the fact that you will handle this situation. Um, with the three of fire, I feel as though you're waiting on something, um, Leos. Uh, maybe you're waiting to uh, decipher or to determine actually what it is you need to do to shut down this situation. And with the eight of <clears throat> the eight of air um here uh i feel as though uh you are really thinking about um what you're going to do what you're going to say what your communication is going to be like you are really really analyzing it like i say even if this situation was something that you know was innocent flirting you know you enjoyed the attention um i feel as though with that owl spirit you 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 saw or you're going to see very very clearly that this is going to get out of hand and actually you don't want anything to uh 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 interfere with let's say a project that you're working on that actually you're going to be really really successful with that frog in prosperity coming forward and on a spiritual level you don't want to do anything or engage any further in order to hinder your spiritual growth in order for you to move from that tadpole uh stage to a full frog yeah and be the eagle and 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 um uh be that connector between the 3d the 4d and the 5d i feel as though it's really got you mentally in your head yeah this is mental entrapment you are really really analyzing you don't know kind of what to say or what to do and how to shut this down that's why you're waiting and that's where i think you're you, you're you're underneath with the, your feet going like that trying to hold your grace um and i feel as though whatever you are waiting for if you go deep within and ask yourself why why am i in this situation why am I or why did I react or allow this situation to even progress to, 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 to this stage? 
that will help you to give you the answers of how to move forward with the queen of earth coming in here i almost feel as though leo um i feel that this is your energy whether you are male or female because i feel that you're surrendering to sorting out this situation your person over here is obviously allowing surrendering for you to deal with the situation and this energy here that queen of coins remember what i was saying it's like they trust that you're going to do and say the right thing and come out victorious with that five of ear with that queen of energy queen of earth around you which is um, equivalent to the queen of pentacles it's because you are a very grounded balanced um wise person yeah i feel as though this is also letting us know that you're very spiritual as well i feel as if they know that you're going to deal with the situation with grace let's have a look at your uh clarifiers thank you the first card out the page of wands okay so i feel as though this person um either either they see you as um or they're aware or they feel that you were giving messages of passion to this third party and the king of pentacles um and i feel as though with that king of pentacles which is the uh what well, yeah king of pentacles sorry which is the uh divine counterpart to the queen of earth uh queen of pentacles i feel as though this is them their energy whether they are male or female they see that you in your free spirited light-hearted way perhaps was giving messages of passion mixed messages to whoever's coming in to infiltrate um, another way that this is coming out um for me as a reader another message that's coming in is that this person may see uh this person may see you as giving them messages of passion all right might be for some of you but um i feel it's more to do with this um third party situation and look we've got the queen of cups which i feel is your energy male or female i'm going to move this down Ma male or female it doesn't matter i feel as if uh they know that they see you as somebody that has a lot of love for them yeah a lot of love for them that queen of pentacles this person is also quite balanced quite uh grounded uh, quite spiritual themselves and I feel as if they know that you've got a lot of love for them that is why that you're going to deal with this situation in the right way and look at that you've got the five of swords clarifying the five of air which is the five of swords so you've got the five of swords clarifying the five of swords they know that you have got a lot of love for them okay and if you gave this person here uh, messages of passion I feel as though um you found yourself in a bit of a sticky situation, all right? And I feel as if they know that you will deal with it because you have this love for them. They feel as if that you will deal with it appropriately, all right? And that five of swords is just, is just confirming that for us. And the six of pentacles is because they know that you have both lived many, many, many lives together. You remember we were talking about your spiritual growth it makes me wonder whether or not this person has been on your spiritual journey with you many 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 lifetimes you could be dealing with a twin flame um, and it almost would explain why they can uh, spiritually connect with whatever is going on with you that they know that you need to deal with it in the appropriate way but they can't tell you how to deal with it you have to do it yourself and i feel as if they they know that the place that you are with them at the moment because it is very loving and it is very nurturing they feel as though they know that you and them are in a good place and therefore you will deal with this third party accordingly all right 
that six of pentacles connecting with that nine of fire yeah that they're surrendering they're surrendering to the fact that you know what you're doing yeah um because they have lived past lives with you and like i say it almost feels as though this situation in some shape form or another may have plagued you in past lives or maybe even it's a situation that you've experienced in this lifetime and this person has just kind of been on the peripherals watching observing so they i feel that they just know that the two of you are in a good place and that you will do what is right and you will deal with it with grace and integrity oh look at that the two of cups what did i just say this is a twin flame connection um ultimate soulmate you see this person as your ultimate soulmate your twin flame with the two of cups um you 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 just won't let this person go it almost feels as though and that might explain why you're feeling a little bit panicky and you see clearly it almost feels as though the two of you are in such a good place that you don't want to do anything that is going to upset that um, apple cart hence why you know categorically you've got to set a boundary with whatever is going on at work if this isn't a third pass person um leos and again I've, i'm getting another message um i may be picking up on different energies of leos do you know something um it could be a situation at work that you're being guided to put a boundary between you and your home life or you and your personal life okay it almost feels as though don't allow whatever is kicking off at work um to um over spill into your personal life all right and i feel as though that you're surrendering to that to that mindset um if this was a situation that has come round again at work not a third party but the third party actually could represent um upheaval trouble okay um i feel as though perhaps in the past or in past lifetimes you and your person almost kind of went through it together um you could have been really quite distressed um over what happened in the past that's why you need to let it go because i feel as though you've got you've got the wisdom and the tools to deal with this situation this time round in a completely different way and i feel as though the boundary that you're being guided to put down is to not allow it to overspill with your person because i feel as though it impacted them as well to see you going through what you were going through so therefore this time it almost is like leo you almost need to be that strong courageous person that you are um and almost uh draw the line in the sand this is work i'm going to deal with it in the way that i know how to deal with it and actually when that clock hits you know uh, six o'clock or five o'clock whatever hours you work that's it i'm in i'm in my personal time and i'm with my person and actually i'm going to deal with that in a, a joyful way you know hop into this new day with joy i'm going to hold my peace i'm going to hold my joy and this is what you want your person to see let's continue my eight thank you whoops and we have look at that the hierophant <laughs> do you know something leos either you are married to this person or you see them as marriage material and i feel that whatever you are waiting for um you may be waiting in order to do uh, deal with this situation um before you perhaps maybe even pop the question of marriage or um if you are married let's let's pull one more thanks the star yeah you, they are your wish fulfillment your star um so i feel you guys have lived many 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 lives together and i feel as though what you're waiting for um is is almost the clarity of how to deal with the situation going off at work um to make sure that it doesn't interrupt your marriage with your wish fulfillment person or the person that you want to marry because they are your wish fulfillment so remember what i was saying that in the past or past lifetimes 
if you were in a similar situation that basically, let's say, want of a better word, you got really depressed or you got um, really anxious or really panicky, you brought that baggage home. You brought this baggage into your personal relationship. This time round, I feel as though the wisdom with the owl spirit, the eagle mastery, I feel as if you know that you can't let that happen this time to interfere with a marriage to somebody that you see as your twin flame or your ultimate um, um, uh, soulmate because you've lived many, many lives with this person. They are your wish fulfillment. You don't want anything to um, uh, disturb that apple cart, okay? And that's why you've got that eight of fire here. That's why you're in this mental prison. It's not... It's not the situation that's kind of going on. It's more as you just don't want it to impact your relationship. Thank you. Oh, look at that. The four of pentacles. You are thinking about your person morning, noon and night. They are in your heart. They are in your mind. You're holding on to them for dear life. It almost feels as though, um, Leo, you are more thinking about not getting, not allowing whatever is going off at work to be, you're not, not allowing them to get embroiled in it. And you are thinking about that so strongly. It almost feels as though if this is a re repeat lesson that you're being, that you're being, that you're being guided to take again in this lifetime or past lifetimes experience, it, it almost feels as if the wisdom and the knowledge that you have is that you just categorically know you cannot get your person involved in whatever is going on. And I feel as though you're almost protective, you're almost protective over them, protective over your relationship. And that is what's got you doing a double salt mentally it's like oh my god i you know i've got to deal with this situation i kind of need someone to talk to but i kind of don't want to put this burden on this person it's like you're thinking about them you're thinking about their emotions you may be even worried that by speaking and letting them know the depth of what is going on at work is that you know that they are going to fear for a repeat of how you were the last time so if you were depressed or you were panicky, or you were anxious, I feel as if you want to save them from going through that again, because they were probably really concerned about you. Look at the three of cups. Yeah, you want to celebrate. What did I just say? You want to protect your relationship with this person. You want to be in their energy. You want the joy. You want the peace. You want to hold your peace and joy with this person. You don't want to bring on the burdens of work with your relationship, whether you are married or you see this person as marriage material. You want everything, every experience with this person to be happy, to be free, to be full of joy. You are hopping from that lily pad of um, shit that's going on in work, at work and you're jumping onto another lily pad um, celebrating this connection, celebrating life, celebrating your connection, um, celebrating this person in your life. Yeah. Oh, wow. Gosh. All right. Let's look at the, uh, the clarify the queen of earth. Um, Leos, um, whether you are male or female, your approach of whatever is kicking off this week for you. Um, do you know something? The wisdom and knowledge that you've gained from going through this experience before. I'll tell you something now. It has um, given you. Uh, so much wisdom that's why your frog is coming in here because do you know what it almost feels as if your spirit team is on the peripheral saying go go for it leo you've got it you've got it you've nailed it you are now looking and using your spiritual gifts to really clearly see what you need to do how you need to do it to a preserve your relationship and b to move you and ascend you to that next level of your spiritual journey yes look oh my god i can't even do you know what i can't even make it up oh my god yes you want a new beginning you want to rewrite your story you want to rewrite your story with this person you want to rewrite the story with whatever situation is kicking off at work you want to progress to your spiritual journey you may already be aware uh leo that you have a great great um 
uh, uh, you have a great, what's the word? Oh, what's the word? Help me. You have a great mission. Thank you. You have a great mission and a great purpose in this lifetime um, on this earth. And therefore, you cannot let whatever is going, kicking off at work, interrupt that. You're too far gone. You want that new beginning. Absolutely. You want to rewrite your story. Oh, my God. Amazing. And one more card, please, to clarify for Leo. Sorry, Leo, your reading has gone on a little bit longer. But you know what? No matter. It's all good. All good. No, no worries. And then look at that. <laughs> oh, my God. Leo's. Do you know what? Eight of Wands communication, yeah? You want however you communicate with your person to preserve your relationship, but also the communication that you're dealing with at work, you want it to be different, okay? You want it to be different in order for you to have a new beginning. You already know those Leos that I'm reading for, the situation that you're in at the moment, you've gone through it before. All right. You've gone through it before and you know that it's your communication, how you deal with it. Do you remember it says time for a deep dive? You know that your communication is pivotal to literally changing the landscape and the outcome of this situation. That's where you're going to get your new beginning. Beautiful. Let's have a look at your advice. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your advice for the collective of Leo, sun, moon, rising and Venus in love? Thank you. That wanted to come out. Kindness. Take respite, buy a pond and be kind to yourself and others. And I feel as though it almost feels as though this kindness is, is um, I feel like it's representing the frog. Uh, also, is, do you know what they're telling me that I forgot to tell you? With this frog um, uh, totem in, uh, you may actually like water or you um, look at your different elements. If you've got water in your sign, when the frogs get a little bit... Um, a little bit, let's say, apprehensive, okay, if they were human beings, okay, what they will do is they will go and have a salt bath. They will um, uh, cleanse themselves with a mud bath. So if you're feeling with that eight of it in this mental trapment, Leos, go and have a salt bath, go and swim in the sea. Um, if you're not near a sea, go to a spa, have a salt bath, or, 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 or just even have a bath at home and just put some salt and some candles and some meditation music and just soak yourself to cleanse you so that you can see things clearly. Um, also as well, maybe go to a spa and um, have a mud wrap, have a, a, you know, have a mud bath, whatever it is, that is what's going to help you with that luck, that prosperity. Whatever is going on at work, remember to deal with it with kindness and grace. All right. So be kind to yourself, be kind to others. It's all part of your communication. Operate from that place of love and peace and wish. Make a wish with a dandelion in the wind. And I feel that that wish is coming in because your wish is for a new beginning. Your wish is to shut down this lesson, this cycle, cut the cord, finish with in order for you to move forward. Move forward on your spiritual growth, move forward in your relationship, move forward in the workplace. That's your wish fulfillment. You want a different outcome. You all, I feel as though you're also wishing that you um, deal and communicate with this situation in the right way. It also may be letting us know as well, reach out to your animal totems, okay? Reach out to your spirit guides and your angels and, and ask them to help you to communicate in the most effective way that doesn't hurt others, that's not going to hurt you, and that is not going to entrap you from moving forward on your spiritual journey. Oh, joy. Spread seeds of joy like a wildflower and no doubt you will revel in the result. And I feel as though um, the joy, I almost feel as though the joy that the advice that's coming in is you are literally on the verge of absolute joy, prosperity, freedom. It almost feels as though 
whatever it is that's going off at work or if you don't i mean i know that i'm using the example of work because that's what's been laid on my spirit to give as an example but this could be anything the key thing is is that you're going through a repetitive cycle of something that you were supposed to learn and you haven't it could be in this lifetime it could have been in past lifetimes I feel as though this time round you are bloody clued up and I feel as though they're coming, your spirit team is coming in with joy because they know that you are on that verge of absolute joy, absolute freedom of cutting the cord, breaking the cycle of something that was supposed to be done a long time ago. And I feel that you're being guided to, to deal with it with kindness, with kindness, with peace in your heart, uh, not harming others. And therefore, you will not harm yourself. Okay, Leo's beautiful message for you. If it does resonate, please feel free to click that thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Take care. Bye bye.